Hey guys, it's me, Maxi Rainbow, and I am back for another video. So today, I am so excited to be finally kicking off the Eurovision 2022 season. In this video, we're going to be taking a little bit of a break from the Junior Eurovision hype that's going on right now, and we'll be taking a journey over to Israel to react to a couple of the auditions from the X Factor Israel. So for those of you who don't know, the X Factor Israel is the new selection process for Israel in Eurovision. Fekker Labi was my winner for Eurovision 2020, and I'm just a huge fan. So I am so excited to see who comes out on top this year. Fingers crossed they are just as amazing as Eden was. And although the X Factor Israel has just begun, I still wanted to sit down and react to a couple of the stand out auditions that have already begun to air. Currently, as of me filming, there are only five audition episodes that have aired. I still wanted to come through and react to a couple of the recent auditions that have been standing out so that you guys still get a chance to catch up with the show and follow along to find out who will be representing Israel next year in Eurovision. I am so excited to get into these reactions, so without further ado, let's get right into reacting. I, have, I am also especially excited to get into this reaction because I have never actually reacted to a singing competition on this channel. Most of the time they are national selections with the original songs that are potential Eurovision entries. This however is the X Factor which I'm pretty sure most of us know kind of how the X Factor works. It's a singing competition so people are going to be singing covers of other songs. I obviously am American and am horrendous with pronouncing names and languages that are not English. Obviously, I am going to be pronouncing this Hebrew atrociously, so I apologize in advance. But first up, I'm going to be reacting to Ile El Maquies. I have a little bit of a profile on some of these contestants. So Ile is only 18 years old. He is very, very young, and he is relatively unknown in Israel. However, despite that, his video has amassed a lot of views, almost 1 million. In, um, which is very surprising. So I'm really excited to see what all the hype is about. So let's get into reacting. Okay, I love the Hebrew language, especially in music. That's what I loved when Israel was in Junior Eurovision. I loved being able to hear Hebrew. Mm. Ah, Netta! I love Netta. I'm going to be so excited to see her in these. Healing. Wow, he has a really beautiful voice. It feels very mature, despite him being so young. Also, the way he's singing, it's not just like just that he's singing. He's using his voice as an instrument. The way it like plays with the music, it's beautiful. You know what else I really appreciate about this is he looks like just a regular guy, like a relatable person that you would find walking around on the street and he got up there and he sung absolutely beautifully in his native language and I have to respect that. That was really, really beautiful, and that's the type of stuff I love coming from Israel. That kind of music, that kind of sound, embracing the culture and the ethnic kind of vibe of Israel, that's what I appreciate. So, that was beautiful. 
So next up, I'm going to be reacting to Sapir Saban. What's really exciting about her is that she actually won The Voice Israel six years ago. However, following her win, she didn't seem to find fame in Israel. However, she sings in a bunch of different languages, Hebrew, English, Turkish, um, and she is also apparently a really good friend of Netta. If she were to win the X Factor Israel, she would be the second Israeli to win two big singing competitions following Eden Elena. So is it destined to be just like Eden? Is she gonna win? We shall see. Let's watch her audition. Oh, she's singing Hopelessly Devoted to You from Greece, aww. Olivia Newton-John actually did compete in Eurovision too, isn't that crazy? Ooh, her voice, wow. <laughs> Look at Netta, she's like, that's my best friend. Go girl. There's nowhere to hide Since you push my love aside I'm out of my head Hopelessly devoted to you I really love that she's kind of taking a hold of this song and making it her own too She's kind of given her own little spin to it, and I think that's amazing. That's what you want to see from an artist. Like, that's what we saw from Netta, where she she did these covers of these songs, but, you know, she made them her own. Oh, her voice! Oh my god. No doubt she has an amazing voice. She just seems like a professional. Like, she seems like the type that's going to get out there. She's going to slay. I have no doubts that her vocal is going to be on point every single chance we get to see her. And that's amazing. That was that was absolutely beautiful. Um, again, amazing, amazing talent. So next up, I'm going to be reacting to Inbal Bibi's audition. So what I have written about her is that she actually took part in the X Factor eight years ago, and she almost made it to the final. She was in that last stretch, but she didn't make it. And so since then, she has been working just a regular job as a waitress, and this is a kind of Cinderella story for her to be back on the show. And so I'm really, really excited to watch her audition and see how far she's come since then. And who knows, if it's amazing, maybe she'll actually make it to the final this time. So let's see. She's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, Netta, you look I love your look. That's such a good look. Ooh, her voice, it's so mmm. It's so good. I love this song too. Oh, yes, <laughs> me and her had the same reaction. Just, oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I got chills. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Netta, I love Netta so much. Yes! That was amazing as well. I mean, just, ugh. These people just all are, sound amazing. They sound beautiful. Just an absolutely amazing, beautiful voice. Once again, she made that song her own and that's what made that so beautiful. And it took it that extra mile. And uh, that was my favorite so far, for sure. So next up, I'll be reacting to Anna Stephanie and she will be covering Soldi. So I am very, very excited to watch this. I have high expectations for her because we all know and love this song. So let's see. Ooh. Ooh, I love that she's kind of doing this like it's a ballad. It's such a cool interpretation of the, the song. Oh! I want Mahmood to sing this like this. This is such a good rendition of this song. Oh! Ah! Everybody clap! I didn't expect her to sing it like this. This is... Wow. Same, Netta. Same. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, same. That voice is insane. <laughs> same. I echo the judge's reaction. I mean, first of all, I love the way that she sung that. Like, she totally took it in a different direction than the original. And again, it's like taking something, making it your own. That's what you want. I mean, you want them to see not only are you a good singer, but who are you also as an artist. And if you can do that by covering somebody else's song, that is a really, really good sign that you will also be a good artist as well with your own original music. That was amazing. And so next up, I'm going to be reacting to Kama Camila singing Sweet Dreams. I wanted to react to this one because number one, I just love this song. And I also saw a lot of people talking about it on my personal social media which got me interested and I wanted to watch more so let's see oh Netta same girl same <laughs> oh yes Ooh, I love that. That just takes me on a journey. Sweet 
I didn't expect that, like, switch up. Ooh. They all have such unique, like, interpretations of their songs. She looks so cool, too. I love her style. Like, I want to look like you. That bone structure. Oh my god. <laughs> Netta spinning around. Oh, her voice is so like... Oh. It's got power behind it. Like, emotion. Like, I want to hear her singing like... An original, like, emotional, like, 1944-style ballad, like, pouring your heart and soul into it. Oh, what? That was epic. Like, out of everyone so far, she makes me the most intrigued of like, I wanna see what kind of music you would make yourself, like your original music. I wanna see what you would send to Eurovision. So far, like, that's probably my favorite because she really just took that on a journey, she made it her own, and, and that was just, ah, that was awesome. I need to react to some men. Because you know me. All right, so next up, I'm going to be reacting to Amit Shetash singing Cuckoo. I'm picking this one simply because I'm assuming he is singing Cuckoo by Netta. And I really just want to watch that because I love that song. And I love Netta. <laughs> I love her so much. Oh. I want to change the channel. Oh, look at that his face. Oh. Oh, I love his vibe too, like Surfer Boy. <laughs> I love this song so much. Oh, he has such a beautiful voice. I should really love you. I'm like a bird in a cage and I'm going cuckoo, cuckoo. Aww. I can escape, but I don't want to hurt you, hurt you. Do I, really I love this song so much. When she released this and it was kind of like, really we just went into lockdown. I don't know, it has that nostalgic, like, it takes me back to that moment that was so emotional, that year of Eurovision being cancelled and all that. This song takes me back and it makes me so emotional and... Oh my god, his voice too! I mean, wow. I love the song, but his voice too is just amazing. He's really cute too. <laughs> he is really cute. Um, that was amazing. I love that song. I love Netta. Ah, oh, my God. Amazing as well. All these auditions are so, so, so good. It's not like when you watch like American Idol or whatever and they love to, you know, show the bad auditions and the stuff that sucks and we all laugh at them. I feel like this is actually searching for real talent and we're seeing the actual best of the best, not looking for the people who make the best TV or whatever, you know what I mean? Like when I watch the American singing competition shows, you know? All right, and last up, I'm going to be reacting to Shahar Admon and they're singing the song Ulai. I wanted to finish this off with one that is also in Hebrew because I know I picked a lot of ones that were not in Hebrew. So let's see. I wish she's playing the guitar too. Multi-talented, she said. She is beautiful. 
the thick eyebrows and dark hair. I mean, she's just stunning. Okay, the song, the song just started, girl. You don't have to be shedding a tear that quickly. <laughs> But also, to be fair, I don't know what she's singing about, so... She has a beautiful voice as well. They all do. Let's be real. They all have amazing voices. This is a beautiful song. Amazing as well. I mean, just amazing voice, beautiful. That felt so intimate. That felt like such an intimate performance, and it was just her and her guitar singing, and it was beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. Alrighty, guys, that is it for my reactions to a couple of the auditions from X Factor Israel this year. I've got to say, that was some absolutely amazing talent. It has me really, really excited to see who's next, who's to come. There's still so many more people that we're going to see enter through this competition, and if that's the talent we have just off of five episodes. I'm blown away. So yeah guys that is it for my reaction to a couple of the auditions from X Factor Israel. Let me know in the comments down below if there is anybody that I did not react to in this video that you love. Who are your favorites so far and are you going to be watching the X Factor Israel and following along to see who is going to represent Israel in Eurovision 2022. Don't forget to also like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do as well as don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at Max Rainbow so you don't miss out on any post polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah guys, my name is Maxi Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.